Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, where I keep it real, because that's how I do it. Part of Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. Before we jump in, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, follow us and ring that bell. We thank you for your continued support. But let's talk about the topic at hand right now. The WNBA just signed a, an 11-year $2.2 billion new TV deal. Now, I know when you compare it to the NBA deals, it's nothing. But for this league that had a $60 million a year TV deal, this nearly quadruples their annual revenue from a TV deal. They're going to collect about $200 million a year, and it's reported that they're probably going to add another deal that brings another $60 million, $60 million in annually. Now, what does this mean? This means send your mother freaking thank you cards to the person who has brought the attention of these networks and the attention of the millions of fans watching around the country on television every time she steps on the floor, the one, the only Caitlin Clark. It is not a coincidence that this deal comes now. Because if they had had to make that deal a year ago or two years ago, guess what? They'd be stuck in a long-term deal with no TV revenue. But because of Caitlin Clark and the attention that that outstanding basketball player brings to this league because of her play for no other reason it's her play the WNBA has capitalized in year one off her back now I don't know what this will mean for salaries for WNBA players I would anticipate that there will be an increase in max salaries for WNBA players, I would anticipate things improving. I would anticipate that teams playing in Band-Aid boxes potentially move their games to real arenas where adults can go watch them play. I'm obviously being hyperbolic, but not playing in glorified high school gyms. But holy crap. Year one, year one, the millions and millions and millions of people who have been watching these games every single week, every day that Caitlin Clark plays, where she draws 1.5, 1.6 million on a weekend game. She draws 238,000 for a 12 noon game on a Wednesday against the Washington Mystics. While the team's playing at 5, 6 o'clock, draw a quarter of that. Or two quarter, half of that. This is outstanding for the WNBA. But they all, every single player who has talked shit, every coach who has talked shit, should send a motherfucking thank you card to Caitlin Clark. This is a six times, it is a, it marks a six time X jump for the league. Six X. My God. And it happens in year one. I don't know about you. But if you haven't noticed, the needle mover in this league is one person, and it's one person alone. It's Caitlin Clark. Whether she plays well or doesn't play well, people are going to watch her games because she is who she is, and they're looking to see mag magic happen. Tonight, if you watched her play, you saw magic happen. They lost the game, but 19 assists 
breaking the WNBA record. And before anyone wants to come, come at me and say, it was padded, no the fuck it wasn't. Her 19th assist made the game 93-93. It made it 93 to 93. And if her teammates could make open shots, she would have had 25. And I mean open layups. This is an amazing thing for this, this league, and they all owe it to one Katie, 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 Caitlin Clark. Unreal. Unreal. But this just goes to show you how one person has changed the entire trajectory of the league. Now, does it mean the league is going to continue to grow? No, it doesn't. The only way this league can grow in viewership, viewership being the key word, because just because she sells out her buildings doesn't mean that she's, she that other people sell, sell their buildings because they don't. They play in small arenas, most of them. And the ones that play in real ones, it's half empty all the time. So until you get some other talented players that play similar to her in the style of ball in which she plays, a style that these old guard coaches and people are so afraid to have happen. The one thing that was pretty pleasing tonight watching Indiana play Dallas, even though Dallas is absolutely terrible, is that you played a break. It was a break. It was a breakneck speed of basketball. It was fast. It was up and down, despite the fact that for the first half, the Indiana Fever were walking the ball up the floor. Walking the ball up the floor. Because Christy Sides doesn't like to do things that help you win. She likes to do it her way until it's so far out of, out, of, out of control that she almost has no choice but to say, Caitlin, go do what you do. Because, again, they're down 16 points in the first half in the second quarter to a really bad Dallas team. But, wow, big time, big time, big time. Congratulations, WNBA. Congratulations, Caitlin Clark, because you made it happen. They all should be kissing your ass right now. That's all I got. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Come on now.